All right, greetings everybody and welcome to this update here on the Media Files. Yeah, so once again, we've got ourselves a big uh, DVD and Blu-ray update. Yeah, this time um, a little more personal this time around. Uh, as some of you probably know, I lost my grandpa not that long ago. Um, you know, may he ever rest in peace. Uh, however, though, as you probably see right here, a box flap. Yes, I have in here. Um, the family was going through some stuff, and I was, you know, unavailable to go over there and kind of look and see what he had or whatever. So they decided to basically let me have um, his entire DVD collection. So, uh, so today that's what we're gonna go through, uh, because I have no idea what is in this box, not a clue. <laughs> So, it looks like we got quite a big pile of stuff to go through. So, I think this is going to be a rather long video. So, all right, let's not waste any time. There's going to be no opening credits this time around. So, let's just start digging in this box. So, um, let's see. Actually, I believe, yeah, actually hanging up above me is, um, is actually a poster, um, which I think I can get. Yeah, here it is. Show it off here real quick. Because I didn't want this to get damaged. Uh, but here we have, she wore a yellow ribbon. Um, now, this actually is an original poster because they were kind of put on cardboard way back then. And so I'm going to frame that. And hopefully I can get the wrinkles out of it and stuff like that. So, yep, yeah, that will always stay in there. So... Alrighty, so let's dig through this stuff. Um, it's going to be hard saying what he's got. There may be stuff in here I may already have. Um, but all, I, all they told me was that there's a whole bunch of stuff in here and a lot of it is not opened. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, okay. So, well, let's get through some stuff here. So first up, um, well, mind you, they told me that there was going to be a bunch of Westerns in here because that's what he really enjoyed. So if you enjoy Westerns, here's your thing. All right, so first up, we have ah, we have uh, John Wayne classic. We have Big Jake. Yeah, I've never seen this. I've always wanted to see it, but it's on Blu-ray. So there you go. That's a big win right there. Looks like, looks like an awesome movie. Uh, uh, yeah. What can we say? Looks awesome. All righty. So up next, we have uh, Black Hawk Down. Yeah, I think I have this already. Let's see if it's actually in there. Um. Oh, actually, it's not. Uh, <laughs> um, apparently, there's a Mary Kate and Ashley DVD in here called Getting There. Yeah, I think we'll be getting rid of. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna we're, we're gonna toss that one aside. Um, now I'll keep the case for the DVD. That's going. Uh, no Mary Kate and Ashley in this collection. None whatsoever. Uh, let's see. Here. Up next, we have a sports DVD. Uh, we have the. 2016 World Championships of the Chicago Cubs. Yeah. Now, this DVD, it's the official DVD, but it is actually the highlights version of it. Um, the Blu-ray actually has all seven games in their original uncut format, including the final game. And um, if I come across it, I'll probably buy it in memory of him. Just to also have as a companion piece for this. I think I saw it at Disc Replay for like 20 bucks or something. So, sure. Ah, here's a classic. Um, of course, I have this movie. But, you know, I may just end up selling the version that I have. Because we have a brand new copy of one of the best movies ever made. And also one of the funniest movies. We have... Oh, brother, where art thou? Yeah, this movie's great. Uh, you know, it's an instant classic. I could talk about this movie all day long. Uh, let's see here. Up next, uh, still on the shrink wrap uh, from Walmart. <laughs> yeah, it has the Walmart sticker in here from, wow, February of 2005. Uh, we have Will Smith in Ali. That's a good movie. Uh, then we have another Western here. Uh, oh, it's a, it's the remake. Yeah, um, I don't think I've ever actually seen it. Uh, but here we have from uh, director James Mangold of Logan fame. We have Russell Crowe and Christian Bale in 
three Ted to Yuba with the slip cover too. That's actually pretty cool. I am actually keep that. I don't think I have that yet. Uh, then up next we have a Blu-ray. Yeah. Of oh sweet, we have a the Blu-ray of Hatfields and McCoys. Yeah, I remember this series. This series was so good. It's literally like a three. It's like a five-hour you know movie about the Hatfields and McCoy story. But <laughs> wow, forty bucks at Best Buy for Blu-ray back in the day. Um, oh wait, they probably still are that price. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Up next, we have, uh, let's see here. We have the DVD version of Red Tails. Yeah, this is a pretty good movie. I mean, you know, I like it for what it is. Um, I don't, the only beef I have with this movie is the opening titles. I know that sounds really corny and really stupid of me, but I don't know why. There's just something that you have this logo here, which looks so cool. And then you have for the rest of it, just your simple generic you know, font. It's like Arial or something. It's it's just... <laughs> uh, anyways, um, so up next we have, looks like a double feature of uh, starring uh, so here, Jimmy Stewart, John Wayne, in The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, and Shane. Yeah, um, I don't think I've ever seen Shane, but I have seen Liberty Valance. That's good. Uh, let's see here. Up next, we have... Oh! Yeah, don't care. Uh, we have, starring Jack Nicholson and Morgan Freeman, we have The Bucket List. This movie's really good. Um, sadly, one of uh, Jack Nicholson's last movies that he did, um, but very, very well done. Very, very good. And also directed by Rob Reiner of uh, The Princess Bride and loads of other great movies. So here we have another multi-pack set. Ah, we have the man with no name himself. Good old Clint Eastwood with the Clint Eastwood collection, including uh, the Dollars Trilogy, the Fistful of Dollars for a few dollars more, Good, the Bad, the Ugly, and it looks like Hang Him High. It's kind of funny. There's actually still some Christmas wrapping paper on there. That's funny. <laughs> oh, sweet. We have on Blu-ray. Um... Fury, this movie is awesome. It's so good. I don't think I actually have the Blu-ray. Um, yeah, I don't think I actually have this. I'll have to dig through my boxes downstairs and see if I have it. I said, I think I have it, but I don't know. Uh, then up next, we have a John Wayne multi-pack. Um, from the classic Western series. Okay, that's kind of weird. Um, wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, that is kind of okay. That's kind of weird. Um, I'll have to check these out. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so here we have classic Western series John Wayne, which has twenty movies. Um, reason why I say it's kind of weird is because it actually says volume three, volume four, and then it goes into volume twenty four, and then it has a random John Wayne disc on there. It's kind of weird. Oh, it's from Echo Bridge. That's why. Who knows? <laughs> I'll have to track all those down. But yeah, like I said, I think a lot of these are his earliest movies, very early ones. And um, oh, and also has the complete 12 chapter serial of Shadow of the Eagle. Um, interesting. So yeah, I have to check all those out. He was a big John Wayne fan, by the way. And apparently he loved his baseball because we have on Blu ray. We have starring Chadwick Boseman and Harrison Ford in 42, The Jackie Robertson Story. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Up next, we have, oh, a Blake Edwards movie. Um, no, it's not Pink Panther, but um, it is, oh, it is uh, The Great Race starring Tony Curtis, J Jack Lemmon, and Natalie Wood. Yeah. Uh, Jamie, Lee Curtis, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis's dad in this movie. I've never seen that. It looks awesome. Then we have a... Oh, we have a TV show that uh, I've heard of but never seen. We have the first complete season of The Bob Newhart Show. Yeah. I know they did a spinoff series called Newhart. And uh, that's about all I know of it. <laughs> uh, then we have... Uh, oh, sweet. He's got some stooges. Yeah. The 75th Anniversary Collector's Edition. Um, 
which is awesome. It has looks like four episodes and a disc of tons of bonus features, including uh oh sweet, it even has um a bunch of cartoons on it. So sweet. Gotta have some stooges. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, so up next we have a 20 movie pack uh, with John Wayne with has um, a whole bunch of his movies and stuff including uh, a documentary about the American West of John Ford. Yeah, it looks like a lot of these movies are roughly about the same but sometimes though with these movie packs um, sometimes there will actually be a DVD or a certain movie in there that is included only in certain uh, editions. Yes, you may have multiple copies of the same movie, but yeah, there you go. Uh, let's see. Then we have uh, Talking Baseball, the Chicago Cubs. Yeah, if you haven't noticed, he's a Chicago Cubs fan. Um, interviews with the greatest, including Ernie Banks, Harry Carey, Andre Dawson, Ferguson Jennings, and Ron Santos. So, um, yeah. So, Okay, uh, moving on. Oh, sweet. We have on Blu-ray uh, the remake of John Wayne's True Grit with Jeff Bridges. Sweet. I've never seen this. I really need to get on that. Uh, then we have another multi-pack, John Wayne triple feature with The Big Trail, North to Alaska, and The Undefeated. Yeah, uh, The Big Trail is John Wayne's motion picture debut. So, yeah, you can tell he's a big Western fan. Uh, then we have a 10 movie pack of The Wild West. Yeah, it's in one of those jumbo, <laughs> uh, you know, pack things. It's like something you get at, like, you know, Walmart or, you know, wherever for, like, you know, a couple bucks. Uh, then we have on Blu ray uh, some random thing called Over America. Yeah. Um, no casing, but yeah. I wonder if it's just one of those, like, videos, that background video things or something. Uh, then we have a Clint Eastwood movie. Uh, we have Two Mules for Sister Sarah. We have another Clint. Oh, we have a Clint classic from his later years. We have Gran Torino. Yeah, almost dropped it there. That movie's great. Have another, oh, we have a classic Western comedy. We have Mel Brooks's Blazing Saddles, the 30th anniversary edition. You can't get away with making this movie these days. You just can't. Uh, let's see here. Up next, we have, okay, I have no idea why he has this, but okay. Um, although, I don't know. I might give it a shot because Tony Gilroy wrote it, but eh, I don't know. We have a lovey dovey movie in this collection. We've got The Cutting Edge. I have no idea who bought them this. I want to say probably one of my cousins. I'm going to take a guess. Then we have a uh, classic. Oh, come on, Grandpa. I didn't teach you anything. We have the full screen version of Talladega Nights, the unrated cut. Come on, widescreen. Uh, but still, funny movie. Oh, and we have everybody's favorite Indiana Jones movie. The Crystal Skull. Yeah. It's the single disc edition, but I've got the um, I've got the two disc edition, so I'll probably um, you know, probably you know, I don't know. Maybe keep it. We'll see. Maybe in case one of the disc craps out. I don't know. There we go. Then we have, oh, sweet. We have one of those Steel 10 sets. Um, <laughs> we have, oh, sweet. This is old school for all of you fans who are into old school comedy, we have Here's Johnny. That's right, the Johnny Carson Show, a two disc random set with episodes and a um, whole bunch of other stuff. And there you go. Certainly the late, the king of late night TV. Um, for those of you who don't know who Johnny Carson is, if you ever watched Home Alone, that scene where Kevin's had, Kevin McAllister has the picture of his family and he's sitting in the bed and he's seeing a guy talking about. That somebody got a little brother last year. This year, they'd rather have some Play-Doh. That's Johnny Carson. Uh, let's see. Then up next, we have a double set. Of, oh, it's one of those old school DVD cases. Um, here we have Western Gunfighters uh, featuring some random hot chick. 
we have the Gunfighters and the Outlaw. And it's in this old school uh, DVD casing, which are like the clear plastic spines. Those are hard. You don't see those hardly anymore. Then we have, oh sweet, we have a 50 movie collection set. Uh, we have Cowboy Legends. Sweet. Have a whole bunch of different uh, westerns on here. Mind you, most of these are roughly about 56 minutes, maybe. Something like that. 50 minutes, about an hour. So, there you go. Uh, then we have... Up next, we have another sports-related movie. We have the Jackie Robertson story, uh, which has the black and white and the digital colorized version. Sweet. Uh, sweet. Then we have a John Wayne 10 set, the tribute collection, 25 films plus a documentary. Yeah. Um, which is, I think this set actually, I think is the same as, uh, one of them. <laughs> so yeah, we'll have to dig through and see what all is in here because, well, no, we're going to say it's in this metal tin and that's awesome. Then up next, uh, let's see here. Well, apparently we have, uh, Something that's nowhere near DVD related, but we have some ice cube trays. <laughs> yeah, uh, those were my grandmother's. Um, yeah, they thought maybe I would like it because, you know, I'd always get ice out of there when we were kids. Anyways, moving on. Um, we have on Blu-ray, uh, we have Public Enemies. Yeah, not even opened either, which is nice. That movie is really good. Then, uh, oh, sweet. We have... Uh, we have The Hunger Games, sweet, on Blu-ray, unopened. Then we have The Hunger Games again, unopened. Uh, then we got also unopened, Hunger Games, The Catching Fire. And we have Mocking J Part 1, it's sweet. <laughs> then we have, let's see what else, um, oh, we have The Incredibles, Okay. Um, oh, sweet, we have, like, one of these t metal tin sets things. Let's see, what is... Yesterday, December 7th, 1941. Nice. Uh, a date which will live in infamy. Huh. Okay, um, I don't know if it, the mic picked that up, but there's a button on here. There's a set called Heroes of World War II. It's a collector set of about five discs loaded with uh, documentaries about World War II. There's this little button the tag up here that says Press to Play. And there's this little button up here, and it gives uh, FDR's um, infamous uh, uh, December 7th speech, uh, at least part of it, with uh, some military uh, sound effects. <laughs> Uh, then we have uh, Wind Talkers. Sweet. Uh, let's see. Then we have another John Wayne. Cl oh, this movie. I've been wanting to see this. Uh, we have Brannigan, where he actually plays a cop, like a tough as nails cop. Uh, then we have another metal set here. Uh, we have March to Victory, Road to Tokyo. Yeah, it's one of those metal 10 DVD sets. And which has a booklet and a whole bunch of different documentaries. Sweet. Bunch of stuff in here. Oh, sweet. We have the original release of Band of Brothers. That is awesome. That is so cool. Um, yeah, definitely a keeper because now they've re released it in, you know, standard DVD packaging. And then we have, oh, awesome. We have on Blu-ray, the companion piece, the Pacific. Yeah. So that's awesome. That is so cool. Um, I've never actually watched this yet. So this this will be something to actually watch. Uh, now, they are making Masters of the Air, which is the, uh, the third series that Tom Hanks and Spielberg are producing. Uh, which can't wait for that. Uh, then we have another documentary series called Victory at Sea, the Collector's Edition. Um, yeah, I think that's a family video. No, not family video. I can't remember what it is. Maybe a 
I'm not sure, but anyway, so yeah, two discs loaded of documentaries and whatnot. So there you go. Oh, sweet. And then we have on Blu ray one of the best action movies ever made. We have Steve McQueen in Bullet. Nice. Nice. Then we have, in the original Snapper case, we have Gods and Generals. Yeah, this is the prequel to Gettysburg. And there is a third film called Copperhead, but in my opinion, that's not the real sequel that everybody wants. Then we have, oh sweet, we have the original version of The Longest Yard. Sweet. Which also has a sneak peek of the Adam Sandler movie. And apparently they're remaking it again. Oh, sweet. Uh, we have the complete series of The Rat Patrol. I've never seen this. I've never heard of it. Um, yeah, that's going to be sweet to watch. I've heard it's hilarious. Um, I'm not sure if it's a realistic thing. I'm not sure. I've never I've kind of somewhat heard of it. Maybe not. Oh, well. We're almost done. Uh, so up next, we have a Kevin Costner Western, which I have not seen. Um, open Range. Yeah. Um, see, then we have, oh, sweet. Uh, we have this 15 hour documentary series entitled, well, the front cover of it says combat machines, but, um, it actually is amazing war machines and victory by air, which I'm not sure if you can be able to pick that up or not. There we go. Um, yeah, basically two different documentary sets. Um, so yeah, there we go. All about airplanes and warfare. Um, then finally, oh sweet, we have two, looks like two huge movie collection sets. We have, excuse me, um, we have 100 movies of 100 Gunslinger classics. Yeah, I don't think you can find these anywhere, which features, see here, the 50 movie pack of Cowboys and Bandits. And Gunslinger Classics. But I'm going to keep this front cover because that's just awesome. You know, you got, you know, Lee Van Cleef on the front there with some other great actors and whatnot. Roy Rogers, John Wayne, Donald Sutherland. Interesting. It's been very interesting in his career. And then we have um, another set of the 100 Greatest Western Classics. Yeah. Uh, which features um, Western Legends. And I don't know which that one is. I'll have to find that later when I open it. But it's yeah, sweet. So literally, if you're looking for Westerns, right here, that's 200 movies of Westerns right there. Um, yeah, that's going to be awesome. And we're down to the nitty gritty here. They're not DVD related, but they're close. Um, oh, <laughs> Apparently, he has a Spider-Man puzzle in here. <laughs> um, and then we have these really cool pictures that I remember g giving him many years ago. Uh, we have this really cool metal picture here of John Wayne, which is courage is being scared to death, but saddling up anyway. Yeah, that's awesome. And then we have... Let's see, this one's kind of somewhat wrapped up a little bit. Uh, oh, sweet. Uh, I forgot about this. Um, this was hanging up in his office at work, uh, at his workplace. But we have this really cool John Wayne photograph with um, the stagecoach in the back. I don't know if you can, if you stare at it for a minute, you may be able to see it. But yeah, I'm definitely going to hang those up for certain. So yeah. Wow, wow. Like I said, that is a lot of stuff. Um, you know, a lot of it, you know, I've never seen some of it. I do have. Um, go, I have to go through and see which copies are better. Now, obviously, the ones that are literally brand new in the packaging, obviously, those are brand new. So those are going to be brands making new, no damage or anything. So, yeah, definitely going to have to go through some stuff and see what I want to keep. Others, I probably, some stuff that I know I have, I'll probably sell my cop, my older copies of it and keep the fresh copies. So, you know, hey, why not? Um, so, yeah, 
Uh, <laughs> like I said, that's a big, huge pile of stuff. Um, you know, that's going to take hours, obviously, to go through. And so, yeah, I mean, what can I say? I mean, you know, he, he, had, he had some collection, but, you know, some stuff's in there, so. Alrighty, well, that's it for me to you for now. Um, you know, may he ever rest in peace. And, uh, you know, with that, we'll do a review on certain stuff. And with that, I'll see you later.